this is part four of how to make custom firmware for PS3 and in the last video I showed you how to patch the core OS without the level zero the so level zero is a bit tricky so um, I'm going to show you in this for in this video how to use the level zero patcher that I made in order to make things easy for you uh, I, I will add a text document into the level zero patcher which will explain the whole breakdown process of how the level zero is packed because on 355 the loaders are not packed inside the level zero but what Sony tried to do after 355 is they tried to protect the loaders in the um, inside the level zero which didn't work um, but so anyway so um, inside custom making custom firmware is the level zero patcher basically what you want to do is <coughs> excuse me uh, basically what you want to do is you want to open up the official firmware files core os grab the level zero you want to copy that into the level zero patcher now my my folder will look a bit different because i've still got the patcher in a bat uh, but you'll just have the patcher exe for the final version um, so once once you've got the level zero in here what you want to do is you want to double click the patcher exe uh, it will come up with a little message for you um, press enter and basically what will happen is is the um, so it will tell you what to do so it says now patch the loaders in the hex editor after patching close each file with the red cross and save changes so just like we did with the rest of the core os and the vsh module you want to patch each loader so as you can see it's opened up the app loader for you first so if you open up the level zero loader patches um i've got the uh, all the patches laid out here for you okay so first we've got uh, remove level 2 protection uh, signature check ECDSA, ECDSA and this, these two patches are to run debug files on DEX um, so basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, copy uh, search find um, search the hex string all yes and then replace it with the uh, with the actual patch yeah so basically you want to go one you're going to want to go through each file um, so you're going to want to go through the uploader the ISO loader the level 1 loader and the level 2 loader um, and you're going to want to patch each file so I'm not going to patch it just for time purposes but um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you uh, the rest of the process okay so once we patch the uploader um, close it off it'll ask you to save changes say yes uh, and then it will open the ISO loader for you so then you want to do the ISO loader so I'll just do the uh, I'll just do the first patch so that it makes a change okay okay and then close it off with the red cross it'll ask you do you want to save the changes click yes then it'll open up the level 1 loader and we'll patch the level 1 loader You'll have to change it each time because it's not open. Like it, it reopens the program. Paste right. Okay. Close that off. Do you want to save changes? Yes. Let's just do this first patch. Now remember, I'm 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 only doing the first patches just for um just to save on time. But you you've got to do them all. Okay. There we go. Close that off. Yes. Okay. Then it'll run. It'll run through the process. Uh, it'll resign the loaders and pack them. Uh, re resign the uh, elves. Pack them back into the loaders. Um, and then it'll open up level one loader and level one padding bat. So basically, you want to right click, select all, and copy on the padding. Then you want to come to the level one loader, go all the way to the bottom, and then click at the end, and then right right click and then paste right close it up and then save changes so then it will open up level 2 uh, the loader 2 so you just do the same thing just right click select all of the padding and then copy it and then go all the way to the bottom click at the end right click and paste right and you just basically want to do that exact same thing for each loader um, see what it is is when uh, the level 
when the level zero tool comes to repack the uh, the the loader back into the uh, level zero, for some reason you have to pad it. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really spent much time on it to be honest. I I I just did um I just made this quickly um and then once I'd got it all working I I left it. Uh, I w I will look into it um, but basically um you want to select all the padding um because the the level zero tool expects a certain size file so this file is too small so we just add all the zeros onto the end so that the level zero tool has the file that's the right size um, select all copy the padding and then go to the end of the file right click paste right and then close it okay so and then you see it run through and then it will close up the dialog box so you can close off the loader patches right so as you can see in here you've got level 0 original and level 0 so the level 0 original obviously that's our original so we can delete that because we've already got a copy in official firmware files so if you open up custom firmware files and then you can actually add the level 0 drag that over to the core OS so now we've got the whole core OS in custom firmware files we've got the whole VSH module uh, and then in the next video I'll show you how to edit the category game XML and I'll also show you about this uh, UPL XML as well um, and then after that we'll actually put the files back in and make turn the official firmware into custom firmware